You are now watching The Lone Blown. Blown! If you're looking for one of the best places to buy codes online, look no further than atlaspokemart.com. You can use the code THELONEBLOWN12 to save 12% off all of your instantly emailed codes. They got a lot of great codes on this website, such as Darkness Ablaze, Rebel Clash, so if you're looking for anything to complete any of your collections, head over here, and the codes are, are great priced as well. Thanks! Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? You're back here at the Lone Blown. Thanks so much for stopping by, and today we're gonna be going over ADP yet again. You'd be like, yo, what's, how can this deck even grow? But this list is based off of Christian Hasbani's list that played Pokemon Catcher, and I guess it more closely resembles the list that Rochelle Fortier won the Lavender Town event for female and non-binary players um, because she played Zamazenta promo. Now, this is a card that I played myself in Lucario Melmetal, but playing an ADP is a great option against Decidueye. Um, not that Decidueye is the best deck right now, but having an option against that deck is kind of hot. So, Overall, what do we have for this list? We have an ADP core where we're using Altered Creation GX, Ultimate Ray, Attack Movization. We have some consistency cards, Crobat, Eldegoss, Dedenne. We got Mawile GX to bring our opponent's Pokemon down to their bench, whether they're playing a deck like Decidueye, or maybe they're just holding on to all the goods in their hand. Uh, Wily Bite gives us an option to attack for two energies got the Zamazenta promo. Also, it's incredibly hard to find. If you're looking for any cards like this, feel free to go to atlaspokemart.com. Use code THELONEBLOWN. They have a large selection of code cards, so check out that website. Um, whether it's Darkness of Blaze, Champion's Path, promo cards, feel free to hit it up. And then there's just a lot of consistency cards. The main thing is Pokemon Catchers played in this deck. I know it's a coin flip card. I know it's a coin flip card. I know it's a coin flip card. But hear me out, you can get it off of Professor's Research, um, because sometimes with this deck you're like, oh yo, I use Professor's Research, awesome, I can't use boss, so I'm going to lose the game. This this gives you an opportunity to win the game at any time, or just really just put your opponent in a position where you hurt them enough. Um, overall, I think this deck is super solid. I've seen a few other versions, I've seen a version with clay popping up. So maybe I'll cover that in the channel next week, so you can at least see what the full spectrum of ADPization is. Um, but for right now, I think this list is where it's at. I've really been enjoying playing this one. Feel free to take a screenshot of this image, or check out the description, because there's also the PTCGO copy and pasteable list version in there. All the socials, my sponsors, discounts, all that good stuff. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Um, but that being said, let's just jump into some games right now. Okay, call the coin flip. Call the coin flip. Let's call heads. Um, we won the flip, and we do usually want to go first with ADP station, at least in my experience. So let's see exactly how it goes. It's just so we can get an energy on our ADP first. But it looks like there's no ADP in sight here. Oh, never mind. I almost want to pitch this entire hand. But let's go air balloon here. I'm gonna go cherish ball. I'm actually just gonna go for the ADP here. Um, just so we can start building that up. Because we can still get Intrepid Sword. I mean, definitely a bit of a weak hand. <laughs> But we'll, we'll see exactly how it goes. I could have gone for Dedenne GX, but what am I going to do? Pitch away a Metal Saucer, among other cards? Looks like our opponent's playing Send a Scorch here, which could be difficult for us. But I mean, things don't seem that bad. Okay. So they got their ideal turn one. We can do a pretty hot play. So if they power up all their energies onto their Santa Scorch, I could actually just attach an energy to Zation and cause them to lose five energies um, by going energy switch. So I think that's exactly what we're gonna do here. Um, I'm actually gonna Giant Hearth one away while we're at it. Um, 
see what we could do here with this brain plan. So our opponent's probably not happy that their Scent of Scorch is gone. Now, the one kicker is they can knock us out with High Heat Blast. If they're able to get a Welder off into play. Yeah, so they're going to be able to knock us out. That's fine um, for right now. As long as they don't focus on getting out Scent of Scorch, their deck honestly can't do that much so there's their high heat blast and now we're just not really going to focus too much else on anything else um so we'll send up the adp there and let's try to go for this gx attack i think we're actually going to be able to get it um so we're going to go cherish ball here actually for mawile so we can metal saucer to it their hand seems Okay, most of us play 12 energies, so they've already gone through... Yeah, they've probably gone through their energies. They might play two more. Um, let's go energy spinner, grabbing a water energy. Like, nothing ever happens. And we're just going to go research here. There's that. Let's get another one. Um, let's go ahead here and go Altered Creation. So we need to hope our opponent is not able to get a boss out. Because they could use High Heat Blast and knock out a Mawile. If they don't go High Heat Blast this turn, I think we're in a pretty good spot. And that's a High Heat Blast on Mawile or Zacian. So I mean, we're we're just on the come we're on the comeback, seeing if if this match is possible at this moment. And we only need to knock out two of their Pokemon. We do have ADP in play, so a little bit of a reversed order than what we would have liked, but we have isolated their Scent of Scourge pretty well. And they are running out of energies like crazy. Okay, so it looks like they're trying to get the boss orders off here. It all depends on what they have in their deck. Only our opponent knows that. Okay. Let's see what they go for this quick ball here. I'd honestly be surprised if they went for a Senna Scourge V at this point. Unless they play a lot more energies than I expect. Because they have four in play. And eight in their discard pile. Yeah, so they have one energy. I mean, they probably play 14 and have another one in their prize cards. Okay. Okay. The Wondrous Lab's going to hurt a lot. A lot, a lot. And they do have some energies that they can get back. I mean, let's let's see how it works for us. Oh, and they still got Welder. I mean, they're not getting a knockout on us this turn. No, it would be whack if they went for Radiating Heat. Discarding our Water Energy. I could, I could see some serious troubles with that. Okay, they're just going for the High Heat Blast play. So for us, we're we're kind of stuck in limbo, where there's not much that we can do because of Wondrous Lab. Now our opponents can do 160. Um, I think they've used all their welders. One or sorry, 120, 160, which doesn't get us in the knockout. So let's just go. Um, Just go boss orders, bring up their Dene GX, attach an energy, let's just build ourselves up here. 
Not much that we could do with this hand. But I mean, we still have access to a Metal Saucer. We'll see if our opponent's able to get a knockout. Oh, our opponent plays double. That's kind of cool. So I don't think they'll be able to knock out our ADP this turn. They might be able to boss order knock out one of our Zacian Mawile. I need to hope that they don't have boss order more than anything else this turn. Yeah. I think that's probably going to be game because they they're just going to get their energies back but they send a scorch at this point um so we'll, we'll see we'll see we'll see so if i go two prize cards with the maw wild so I'd, I'd have to get five prize cards with or five energies on a zamazenta our opponent's doing 200 damage or sorry 160 I mean, it's possible. Let's see what Pokemon Catcher brings us. Nope. Um, okay. So let's actually just go... We'll grab our extra energy. Three, six, yeah. And we're gonna go Quick Ball away as Amazenta, because that's not going to matter. We're going to go Eldegoss, because we have boss's orders in our discard pile. Yep. And there's nothing else that we want to do here. Our opponent either gets it or not. Um, and like I said, I'm doing the math here. It looks like our opponent can do 160 damage. Um, if they end up having an energy in their hands, I'm cool with that. Let's just knock out um, the Den HX to give ourselves some more options. Oh, and our opponent's Wondrous Lab is gone. So that's good to know. I actually didn't need the extra energy. Paying attention to your uh, stadiums of play can be really important. At least I know that that's not going to happen. Um, we'll see what our opponent can do here, though. I mean, I don't think it's going to be too hard for them to win this game. They're an Eldegoss. A natural attachments. Yeah, they got it. Okay, so we're gonna call tails. We won the coin flip. Yes, we want to go first again. Um, try to try to get a little bit of a better start than last time. But I mean, uh, Crobat double boss catchers. Definitely not what we're looking for to start here. Um, we'll see exactly what our opponent's got going. It looks like they mulligan there. So it looks like they're playing some kind of control deck. This is probably a good matchup for us. I'm saying possibly because I haven't seen the full dynamics of their deck. Yeah, let's definitely draw a couple more. Um, I'm cool with the air balloon. Let's just go quick ball, discarding a boss, because that seems like a natural card that we're just gonna discard. Double check through here. Yeah, it looks like we're good. There's a Zacian. Let's go quick ball, discarding a quick ball for an ADP. And let's go for Intrepid Sword. I mean, if we wanted Zations in our hand, we certainly got them. So as long as our opponent doesn't go through too much energy denial, I think we're in a good spot. Capture energy, there's their Zation. Cool. That will allow them to draw some extra cards. Um, okay, and they're just going Bird Keeper. Interesting. Mawile also seems like a strong attacker in this matchup because it can attack for only two energies. Um, that was a nice top deck. 
Now, I don't want to discard resources if I don't have to. So let's just go Altered Creation GX. There's no reason for me to push the boundaries of what this matchup can do. I mean, we got handed a natural water energy. We're just going to take that. So now we put our opponent on a clock where we're going to win the game in three turns. Um, unless they're able to lock us. Now, again, I don't know the full dynamics of our opponent's deck. They do play weird cards like Jesse James. Um, where They're, they're going to try to lock up our hand at some point. Okay, there's those crushing hammers. Yeah, goodbye water energy. So in order for our opponent to get back resources, it looks like they have to attack with Excadrill. Something we need to consider. But with energy, energy switch, and other cards, we, we're probably in okay spots. Um, Persian looks like they're gonna try to discard cards out of our hands. I'm just going to go back with the energy spinner. Um, if we lose the ADP, we lose the ADP. Let's go catcher. Let's go after their jilver. And I'm really not worried too much about any other card that we have in our hands. Um, Zamazenta doesn't seem great. Cherish Ball, we could grab out ADP. I am just going to go switch here. Yeah, and we're going to lose a Metal Saucer in the process. I'm not too, too worried about that. I'm just trying to get an energy switch. And I mean, we, we got there. Um, so let's go energy switch from here to there. And we're going to go retreats, and we're going to power up some of these Pokemon. So there's our first two prize cards. And we're set up here to attack. The metal saucer coming in clutch. So the Galar Mine, I think, gives us an additional two retreat cost. Yeah, that can make things awkward, especially with Air Balloon. So depending on what our opponent's able to do here, I think they're probably just going to discard some cards from our hands. They've also already used two Crushing Hammers. I don't know if they play Team Yelgrunt either. Maybe I should have worried about the Meowth more than the Excadrill. I just don't want them to get into like a Crushing Hammer loop against me. Interesting at the very least. A lot of peeps would say that control is dead. Yeah, it is the make and pay. So our opponent could... Okay, so there's Lieutenant Surge. We're probably going to lose our hands. Depends on what they decide to do. Okay, yeah, they do have the Yael Grunt. I mean, research, research, energy, Cherish Ball seem like the cards that are gonna go. And we do have three retreat costs. Persian definitely seems like something I should have focused on a little bit more instead of the Excadrill. But that just goes to show that this deck isn't really that played. Um, in hindsight, I think I definitely would have been a little bit more. I should have gone after the Persian. Goodbye, Research. Goodbye, Cherish Ball. Goodbye, Metal Energy. Either that or Metal Saucer. So you, they have four cards in their hand, yeah. Okay, so they gave us Metal Saucer. 
Um, I'm actually... Hmm. What's energy spinner just to get some stuff out, like, out of the way? I don't know if it makes sense for me to attack to Dedenne, so I'm just going to attach to Zacian. Um, and I'm just going to pass my turn. So we're no longer at four cards in our hands. So our opponent could just go Jesse James, which would discard two cards from their hands. Um, so I mean, it's it's it seems interesting. Yeah, the Persian definitely would have been a lot better to knock out. But we'll see exactly what our opponent's able to do. Um, they can't loop their cards forever, and that should be noted. They, there's no Oranguru in this format, so that I, I don't think they could actually get rid of everything. The water energy doesn't matter. Um, I'd rather attack with Zation if possible. I mean, Ultimate Ray is a fine attack. There's not. I'm not going to say Ultimate Ray is a bad attack here. Um, I don't need to worry about during your next turn this Pokemon can attack, but. I'm, I'm not overly worried about attacking with Zacian at this point. I've kind of made my bed. So it just depends on what our opponent decides to do. I'm, I'm honestly fine if they were to discard more cards out of our hand or anything like that. It seems like their crushing hammer is going to come to an end. The only thing that'd be really weird is that they could start going Lieutenant Surge, Yell Grunt, Yell Grunt, but I don't think they could loop that forever. Maybe they're just going to start doing Energy Assist to start getting knockouts? Um, oh, they're just not attacking. Okay, so I mean, we got Switch. Let's just go Metal Saucer here. Metal Saucer here, so we can retreat that after. And let's go switch. Um, solid top deck. Brave Blade. I think, yeah, I could have used Intrepid Sword last turn, but I didn't want to discard cards from my hands. I don't think I explained that, so I want to just let that be known. Um, we'll see exactly what our opponent does. I think. I don't think we're in too bad of a spot here. Okay. So they need to go Lieutenant Surge, Jesse James, Jesse James, or they need to go Reset Stamp. Um, and then go Jesse James. But again, they're the ones who are going to be running out of cards. Because they're the one who, they have to play these cards out. Yeah, we're going to be able just to switch. So... We were able to win the game. Um, I think I could have played a little bit better earlier on, realizing the Persian strategy, but that's about it. So there you have it. We were able to use Pokemon Catcher effectively in order to win one of the games. I mean, the first game that we played was close, um, but there's nothing that you could do when you start with a dead hand with any deck. Overall, I think this deck is easily one of the best decks we've seen in a long time. Um, the catchers just seem to be the icing on top of the cake, uh, the, the cherry on top of the icing on top of the cake, whatever you want to put it, Pokemon catchers absolutely busted. Um, next week I'm going to try to cover the clay version of the deck, um, so I'm going to try to hold myself accountable for that. See, we're still getting, I'm still getting set up as you can see, we're in new office space, um, just dealing with it at this time and recording this video. Uh, it's just starting to become daylight outside right now, so I'm waking up early to create these uh, videos just to make sure that I can get it in for all of y'all. Um, that being said, really appreciate all of y'all watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel um, for more great content, and I'll catch up with all of y'all later. Have yourself a great one. Peace out. Use code the Lone Blown to save when you're registering for Hyperlux events. It will save you on your registration, and there's some large prizes. Be sure to check it out.
Really hope that you enjoyed watching that video. I totally enjoyed making it. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like the video, share the video with everyone that you know, and subscribe to the channel as well. Totally appreciate all the support. We got a lot of cool things happening on the channel, so stay tuned for more. Be sure to check out the social links in the description. Thanks and have yourself a great one.